Well, you don't find someone by hiding from the rest of the world. Um, it was, um, it was at this point that I, uh, I would have said that judging from her voice, it, it, uh, it seems like she could blow the candles out on a birthday cake and give the cake lung cancer. <laughs> I, um, got some bad news, y'all. I'm lying. No, I don't. <laughs> hey, hey, if that really was bad news, uh, hey, you, you wouldn't be seeing a video about it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, what's up, y'all? Uh, for real, I, um, I, I put out a video, uh, with Heathers a couple days ago, and as, as some of y'all may know, that took a little while, and uh, there were some external reasons why it took a little bit longer than usual. I'm lazy, <laughs> but it was also just a video that took longer than usual, you know what I'm saying? And that can mostly be attributed to the fact that like every time I put one of these videos out, I, I try to improve on something in some kind of way, and you know, like the little intro I added on that one, I kind of... I'm trying to like, you know, keep keep the interest for the entire movie, not just based on like the movie itself, but like the the I want the video to be entertaining like on its own. So that's why, you know, I was I was playing around with different stuff, essentially. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, like I don't wanna have to wait eight days to put videos out. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't want the, the wait to be that long. So I uh I came up with something new for y'all again called if these videos didn't take so long. <laughs> so, uh, what I'm gonna be doing in If My Videos Didn't Take So Long is uh, I'm gonna be watching movies, like the movies that y'all recommend, and instead of sitting at, like for two or three hours and, you know, watching the movie and editing all that, I'm gonna just watch a movie and then tell y'all about it, kind of like how I did the the videos from a while ago, the little play-by-plays I was doing, kind of like that, but I'm also going to tell you some of the things I would have said if my videos didn't take so long. You see where I'm going? I figured uh, that this would be a good way to watch more uh, movies, because, you know, there, there is an end goal to me watching all these movies. I ain't just, I ain't just watching them for my health, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but... I, uh, what was I about to say? I forgot, my bad. <laughs> oh, well, this is a good segue. I wanted, you know, I just wanted to make some more like informal videos where I ain't gotta be like thinking about making a video in the back of my mind the whole time. So, you know, I figured this would be a good way to do it. Uh, I think it might still be entertaining. That's why I'm doing Frank and Hooker first just to see if they will be. So let's all cross our fingers and hope this will be good. So yeah, yeah, I think that's all I got. So yeah, let's let's get started on it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. So Frankenhooker is a movie about nigga. What do you think it's about? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's basically a movie where this dude, his ferociously thick wife, dies in a, a lawnmower accident, and then he basically spends the whole movie trying to bring her back to life by killing hookers and taking their body parts. That's it. Like that's the movie. It's one. Of the, it's one of those like good bad movies. You know what I'm saying? But it's still. It's no. It's not. It's bad bad. So yeah, let's just go ahead and talk about some of the stuff I would have said because I don't want this to be super long because you know I don't want to spend eight days editing it. So yeah, transition. Okay, so at this point I was a little shocked because I didn't expect that this was gonna be. A Forrest Whitaker film. Open <laughs> them until I tell you. Close nice and tight. Okay. All right, so we've already established this, but I was floored at how thick she was. Oh my god, like, that's got to be a costume, or it's got to be something, cause that ain't, that's not natural. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if it is natural, hey, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to look her up on IMDb. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me. <laughs> Let me see. It. All right, so the first line in her IMDb bio says "luscious and sensuous, well-built brunette." Bruh, I think there might be some validity to this. <laughs> they gave her a, a Pornhub bio. <laughs> what the? Oh my god! <laughs> hey, nigga, they might as well put her OnlyFans link in, in this bio, bruh. <laughs> what they doing? That brought a quick end to the life of 21-year-old bride-to-be Elizabeth Shelley. Like wood through a mulcher, the girthful fiance. Hey, that was, that was funny because even the news reporter had to admit she was thick. You know what I'm saying? 
Well, you don't find someone by hiding from the rest of the world. Um, it was, um, it was at this point that I, uh, I would have said that judging from her voice, it, it, uh, it seems like she could blow the candles out on a birthday cake and give the cake lung cancer. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have the same ring to it while I'm saying it, while I'm regretfully saying it right now, but you know, <laughs> it would have, it would have been good in the moment. Honey pie, can't you picture yourself in this body kneeling on Ma's couch in the basement? See, now, right here, I was getting a little frustrated because he's sitting here showing her all these bodies, but nothing's going to compete with that dump truck I saw at the beginning. <laughs> Bro, you got to show a picture of Cherokee or something to compete with that. Yo, Amber, come over here. See, now, right here, I, um, I, I would have said that she's moving in slow-ho, but I would have done my obligatory apology right afterwards, so it would have all been good. <laughs> She's right. She's right. This crack shit's killing him. This super crack will get the job done a lot quicker. Yeah, <laughs> right. Now right here, I would have said that Ronald Reagan said, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> the name of your organization is Hooker, isn't it? It's called Hold On To Our Knowledge Of Equal Rights. H hold on for short. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Holy shit, look at you! Put that back, that's supposed to be for the winner. Look at this girl, the party ain't over yet. Now, I don't have any kind of joke that could compete with what actually happens in this scene right here. This is just stupid. I don't, even, I don't know how much of it I can show, but a bunch of prostitutes smoke super crack and then just start blowing up. But when they blow up, they, the, 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 the scene cuts to these paper mache dolls and it just, it looks ridiculous, bro. <laughs> this scene is really what cemented this movie as one of the dumbest movies I've ever seen. Uh, so shout out to them, I guess. <laughs> I just want to point out that it took an hour in this hour and 24 minute movie for us to finally see Frankenhooker. And she sucks. <laughs> but she's also the best part of this movie. We like a room. We like a room. Oh, sweet mother of pearl. <laughs> I gotta admit, that made my night last night. I had to replay the scene like 17 times, dude. I just played it three times just now. Oh, sweet Hey babe, for your own good, go easy on those pretzels. Now, I would have made a joke, and then I would have cut it from the video. <laughs> The question is, who are you? And for what I've been hearing, your ass is mine. I'm taking possession of it now. Now, if you didn't know any better, you would have thought, at this point, you would have thought this movie was an hour and 24 minute long intro to a porno. <laughs> tell, tell me you wouldn't have. <laughs> All right, so in summation, this movie was an abomination. <laughs> um, if, you, if you enjoy bad movies, like really bad movies, You'll get a kick out of this, but if if you're anybody else, don't watch it. That's pretty much all I got to say. Um, yeah, I hope I hope this format is cool. I, I you know I, I it, it'll help me like put stuff out faster if, if it is cool. So yeah, uh, until uh, next time, love, peace, and um, Franken Hooker. Yeah. Oh, no, love, peace, and hope. There we go. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> I had to make a slight correction. <laughs>